You don't have to become a triathlete or a marathoner in order to be able to improve your chances against Alzheimer's disease. Dementia is a general term for a decline in mental ability that can be severe. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause and no medications have proven to be clinically effective against disease progression. But a new study is showing that regular exercise could substantially reduce the risk of it developing. There's a Lancet commission that came up with 12 modifiable risk factors for Alzheimer's disease. Uh, these include things like uh, hypertension, uh, diabetes, obesity, and so forth. The one uh, prevention uh, strategy or risk factor that may be the most effective to our current knowledge is physical fitness or exercise, physical activity. Dr. Edward Zamrini is a cognitive and behavioral neurologist and a geriatric neurologist. His focus is early detection and prevention. One of the biggest problems with Alzheimer's disease is by the time symptoms start, it's probably too late to reverse that process. And so patients are on a downhill course. Our best bet at that point is to try and slow down that downhill course. Alzheimer's is thought to be caused by a buildup of clumps of toxic proteins in the brain. Amyloid proteins clump together forming plaques around brain cells and tau proteins form tangles within the cells. Amyloid deposition can occur 20 years before symptoms start. At some point, tau also accumulates and correlates with cognitive changes. We chose cardiorespiratory fitness as a potential way of measuring uh, how much might it reduce the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. And uh, so we looked at a large group of veterans. With funding from the U.S. National Institute on Aging, Dr. Zamrini and his colleagues at the Washington, D.C. Veterans Affairs Medical Center and George Washington University studied over 600,000 U.S. military veterans ages 30 to 95 years. Participants were divided into five groups based on their fitness levels. Because the VA Medical Center has had electronic medical records for decades, we were able to go back and look at from the time a person had their exercise tolerance test to the time they developed Alzheimer's disease, how much time passed. And we looked at these groups and we found that for those who were highest fit, there was a really significant reduction in risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. The study revealed that the fittest were 33% less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, or ADRD. The second most fit group was 26% less likely to develop ADRD. The third most fit group was 20% less likely. And the fourth most fit was 13% less likely. You don't have to become a triathlete or a marathoner <laughs> in order to be able to improve your chances against Alzheimer's disease. You're empowered to do something about it. And if you have the determination, you can do something about it, even if it is by small increments. If we can translate that into, if you are at a particular fitness level, can you improve your fitness level even by one point or one category, then how much might you be able to reduce the risk of getting Alzheimer's disease? And we're working on that formula currently. Do you know why exercise helps protect against dementia and Alzheimer's? Exercise may have um, a nerve growth factor, something called BDNF. It, it promotes nerve growth factor. It promotes uh, also uh, cardiac function and circulation to the brain. It also improves overall health 
and reduces cardiovascular risk factors, which in and of themselves may contribute uh, to Alzheimer's disease. Um, it reduces the amount of unwanted fat uh, in the body. And we know obesity is a risk factor uh, for Alzheimer's disease. Exercise has uh, a wonderful beneficial effect on mood and anxiety, and those can affect thinking. And uh, depression is associated with uh, risk for Alzheimer's disease. So again, exercise has so many benefits uh, that I, I can't recommend exercise enough. There are ongoing drug studies to see what will reduce the amount of amyloid in the brain. But until the medications have been proven to work, exercise looks to be the healthier and most effective option. So they can work with their primary care physician on a health improvement plan in order to gradually decrease their risk of getting Alzheimer's more and more and more as they become more fit. So uh, to me, not only is the magnitude of the effect really impressive, it's about as much, if not more, than what we might expect with some medications um, in general when we're looking at medications and what we're aiming for. Uh, so this is quite impressive. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button below for notifications. We'll see you next time.